Relationships are important for sure. Developing trust and relationships in the classroom, connections, a sense of belonging and safety definitely makes it a lot easier to take risks with your learning. I work at a First Nation school and I'm lucky to be working in my home com community. So um, we are Kwakwakiwak and I think integrating as much history and um, local knowledge as, as we can, as I can, that's been really, really important for my students, um, for their growth, for their identity, for their confidence. Um, so that's been really special. And it's been great to, as much as we can, especially during, you know, times with COVID and restrictions, having guest speakers, whether come in um, face to face or through Zoom. So yeah, definitely integrating our culture into the curriculum. I would describe my teaching style as really, really working towards weaving in Indigenous culture, language and traditions um, into the curriculum, being as hands-on and um, project-based as I can. And a huge thing for me is getting outside with the students. I'm a big believer in, in being outside, exploring the natural world. We have some beautiful beaches here. We have wonderful trails. Um, like I said, if we if we could at least half a day, it would, it would also be really wonderful to get out into the traditional territory. Yeah. We had a grade six, seven class that was able to go on a cultural camp immersion for one week and we had elders come in and we lived communally and the the outcome was tremendous. It was it was so wonderful to see their their confidence grow, the use of language. I think technology um, is great for the classroom. I think it, um, it's a great source of creativity, uh, engagement. You can do, we've done really neat pr uh, projects using technology. Uh, for instance, we had a muralist come in and we did this beautiful mural, graffiti mural. And then after we had students interview him, so we made our own podcast. We did a few podcasts. Um, I think it's great for learning, for gamification of learning. Um, and then for us too, language learning. I would say to anyone that's thinking of nominating a teacher for this award is do it, absolutely. It's such a it's such a huge honor and it's just so wonderful to be acknowledged in this way. You know, teachers work really hard, we go above and beyond and you know it's it's a love, it's a passion. So to be recognized and acknowledged at this level especially, it's it's um, once in a lifetime thing and I think if you can do that for a teacher, you should.